What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Till. We back with another video. Now we back with another banger. I can never live, man. I can never live. You want to say hey? Come on. Say, what's going on, y'all? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Say, happy new year. Happy new year. Oh. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, first and foremost, happy new year to each and every one of y'all. Happy new year to y'all families. I pray that each and every one, of, each and every one of y'all have an amazing new year. You know, reach for your goals, go get them. Okay. So, as you read by the title today, we're gonna be doing a quick Q and A. Now, this video was actually uh, requested, and that is very major to me because I have never, ever, ever had someone request a video and also ask me questions because you know I'm a I don't even have 100 subscribers yet. But hopefully this year we could change that. So let's get right into this video. Um, I'm gonna be reading the questions off of my laptop right here. <clears throat> and hopefully this video is not too, too long. It is gonna be uncut. I'm not even gonna edit anything out because uh, I want y'all to see the real me, you know? You know, <laughs> but all right, y'all. So um, the first question is, what are your goals for your YouTube channel? So. Uh, I'm going to just say for this year, my goal is to get monetized on my YouTube channel. Um, I was I started YouTube about uh, two years ago, but I never, ever, ever was consistent. And every time I took a break from doing YouTube is when I actually miss vlogging. Like, I'm not really uh, photogenic. I don't like taking pictures. I really don't like being the center of attention or anything like that. But surprisingly, like, vlogging was a little different for me. So uh, I liked seeing, like, memories of... What I, you know, like I just I just like seeing memories of what I got, what I've been doing, what I did, and stuff like that. My dog wants to play. But, um, so my goal for my YouTube channel ultimately is to just keep growing, keep creating better content, keep getting more subscribers, uh, keep you all entertained. My love, please, please. I said this was supposed this supposed to be raw and cut, and you making me have to cut. <laughs> Come on. See, so you want me to throw his toy and stuff. But, um, all right, sorry about that, y'all. So, <clears throat> yeah, so ultimately, that is my goals for my YouTube channel. You know, just keep growing, get more subscribers, entertain y'all, keep everybody amused, and stay happy while I'm doing it. Um, uh, the next one is any big plans for 2024. I gotta kick him out. Hold on, this is the only time I'm gonna cut. Alright y'all. Alright, so Alright, we back. Sorry about that. Y'all had to close the door. He probably gonna be scratching at the door, but it's okay, we're gonna get through this video. Okay, so it says any big plans for 2024. Um I don't have no major, major plans. Um I am looking forward to uh going on a cruise with my family this year. I haven't been like somewhere like out the country or whatever with my entire family in a long time. I always get left out being in the military and stuff like that. So this year I am gonna be able to participate in that and that's what I'm really, really, really excited about. Um, I'm also really excited about my goals for 2024. Uh, for some reason I feel very, very different about this year. Like, um, I don't know, I feel more motivated. I feel more, I know everybody was like, new year, new me, but it's not a new me. I just feel like um, I'm finally gonna go get what I actually want in life and I'm actually going to, you know, put, put forth the effort I need to to get my end goals. So my big plans for 2024 is to reach my goals. Oh, like, or take a lot of steps toward it. Like you gotta reward the baby steps toward it too. And I just realized that I just <clears throat> learned that, excuse me. Um, The next question, what is your biggest achievement in life? <laughs> uh. I want to say my biggest achievement in life is joining the military. Honestly, like that's that takes a a lot. Like being in the military now, seeing how it is and seeing all this stuff, it's like oh, okay. But you you really don't recognize all of the sacrifices and everything that you make to you know serve your country ultimately. You know, so I think that's my. I'm sorry, I look sleepy. My ultimate, uh, my biggest achievement is joining the military. Like having that courage to 
not following like a lot of people my, under my family's like footsteps and just like taking a different route. My cousin did join and she actually had a really big part of me joining too. She was in the army, I'm in the, I'm in the Navy, but um, yeah, I think that's my absolute, I think that's my biggest achievement in life to be honest. Even though I don't know if I'm staying there for 20 years, it's still a really big achievement. <laughs> um, yeah, in the military, uh, I was 18. I was living in Japan for three and a half, four years. So like, who lives in Japan from 18 to like 22? Nobody, you know? So yeah, I, I definitely am grateful for the Navy. I will say that. And that is my biggest achievement. Okay. Uh, this person asked me, what is the scariest part about getting my wisdom teeth removed? And was I wait for the procedure? And they told me that they were terrified. First and foremost, do not be terrified. It's going to be okay. Yes, I was awake for the procedure, but depending on what dental office you go to, some put you to sleep and some don't. I was awake. However, I didn't feel anything. They numbed my mouth up really, really good and made sure I couldn't feel anything. So it was okay. Uh, the worst part about it, um, I couldn't eat. Like, you know, afterwards you can't eat. Uh, so I was hungry. Like, I don't, I was eating like soup and stuff like that. And um, yeah, besides that, the only other thing, the only other issue I had was like, I don't know if she like hit a nerve or something like that, but I kept getting pains like down the side of my jaw and it would go up to this tooth right here, like right in the middle, like it going like a sharp pain. But besides that, um, I am fully healed now. I do have to keep, I have like a pocket back here now, like a hole in the back of my mouth and I have to use a syringe to like clean it out. But besides that, I mean, don't be terrified. It's really not that bad. I was also terrified, but I didn't have a bad experience. As long as you keep it clean and you do what they tell you to do, you know, you don't get no infection and stuff like that, you're gonna be good and it's gonna be uh, great. It's gonna be good. It took me all of like 15, 10, 15 minutes to get my wisdom teeth out. So it's a quick procedure and it's gonna be good. Don't be scared, you got this. Um, <clears throat> What was my favorite subject at school? Math. I don't know why. Math was the only thing that made sense to me. Like I love writing now. Uh, but math was the only thing that made sense. Like, you could actually see why it equals this. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, now, don't get me wrong. The why equals MX plus B. Like, where does MX and what is B and what is C squared to the... I don't know where none of that comes from. But once you plug it all in, you see the work. And that's how you get your answer. And there's multiple ways to do that. Math was just intriguing to me, honestly. Um, so, yeah, that was my best subject. It wasn't my... It was my favorite subject. It wasn't my best subject. I didn't do the best in that subject, but I really liked it because it really challenged me a little more. So I really did like math. That was my favorite subject. Uh, what pets do I have? Um, I have a little Yorkie. Uh, Y'all saw him in the beginning of the video. I only have one dog. Um, growing up, I had a Yorkie. He passed away right before I went to boot camp. And this is my second dog. I had three hamsters as a kid, but they... We don't even gotta talk about that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just have this one puppy right here. And I just got him last year. Uh, he's not even one yet. He'll be one April the 16th. All right. What are your favorite movies? Okay. So it depends which way we going. If we going like comedy, romantic, scary, it depends. But I think my favorite movies are, let me see, because this is actually kind of hard. Um... I really like The Notebook. That is like my, rom, not rom-com, my romantic one. I like The Notebook a lot. Um, I watch a lot of rom-coms, honestly. So, comedy-wise, I really like 22 Jump Street. I'm just saying that because that's what I just recently watched. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Uh, I don't really have favorite movies, okay? I I ain't gonna sit here and do all of that. I don't really have favorite movies. I just have movies that I like a lot. I like Date Night. Date Night is hilarious. It is the funniest movie ever uh i like bridesmaids my mom gonna watch this and be like i said that too me and my mom like the same kind of movies that's why but uh <laughs> i like bridesmaids date night i like uh 22 jump street notebook rom-coms is my absolute favorite i'm gonna just say that that's my favorite genre of movies can you have a genre in a movie yeah, yeah, yeah. I i'm thinking like uh what's it called like books all right next question um <laughs> it says, what color socks do you, do you currently wear? Are they matching or odd? Most people wear odd nowadays and prove it. Okay, so 
I have on matching socks. For the most part, I always wear matching socks now. I used to wear my socks all the time. Uh, my socks are black. And this is me proving it. Wait, wait. Oh, I went to the gym, y'all. I'm sore. Okay. Here. Black Nike socks. <laughs> so, there you go. Black Nike socks. All right. <clears throat> What is your dream job? Honestly, my dream job is to be an entrepreneur. I like to make clothes and I would love to have a luxury clothing brand. That is my dream job. Like, that is what I want in life and that is what I'm going to get in life, okay? <laughs> but I'm sorry if my remote failed. But um, yeah, that's my dream job right then and there. That's it. So, um, Somebody else, that was all from one person. Another person commented and said a couple other, couple more questions for me. Um, what TV shows have you recently, have you been watching recently? So I've been watching The Mindy Project and I've been watching First Wives Club. Those are the two that I'm watching right now. Um, yeah, those are the two I'm watching right now. I really, really, really like All the Queen's Men. I really like that show. And oh, I've been watching Modern, The Modern Family. That's what it's called, yeah. Modern Family. But I'm not too, too, too into TV. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can sit down and watch a couple movies, watch a couple shows, but that's not like my thing. Um, <clears throat> except when I watch the entire series of Grey's Anatomy. But that was different. It was COVID time. That's different. Now, now I don't, I'm not really that interested in just sitting and watching TV all day, TV all day, to be honest. But I do watch The Mindy Project. When I'm going to bed, uh, me and my girl, we put on, um, I just said, oh, Modern Family. That's like our go to bed show. So I watch that. And First Wife Club, those are my shows right now. Do you play any video games? Um, I do not. Every once in a while, I'll play like Call of Duty Mobile, but it keeps starting me over. So I stopped playing it because I don't want to keep starting from level one. It's annoying. So, but yeah, I don't really play any video games. What sports do you play or like? Um, growing up, I ran track. I mean, like, from elementary school to high school. I, I just, why is this one? It's just like, okay, my bad, y'all. But, uh, growing up, my whole life, I ran track. Uh, I did get, like, three rings. So, you know, kind of a big deal. <laughs> Sight now, y'all. But, no, for real, I did get, I did win, three, like, three rings, um, in high school. That was my, up. Uh, I thought I was going to the Olympics. Nobody couldn't tell me no, nothing different. Like nobody couldn't tell me nothing. I was going to the Olympics and that was gonna be what I did for life. But uh, obviously that didn't work out. Um, I also, I like to watch football though. Like watching, as in watching, I like to watch football. I don't really like watching basketball too much because I can't keep up because I never played basketball to understand certain things. Um, if I hear my dog crying, it's cause he wanna come back in here. Cause he just loves me so much. <laughs> but um, yeah, so enjoy doing track i wish i can get back into it maybe it'll help me like slim up some or something but i can't run now i could run but not like how i used to uh maybe i'll insert a clip on uh, my last time running it's a little blurry though but maybe i'll insert a clip of, of me running i don't know i gotta find it um next question what well, next question what sports no i just said that sorry um what tattoos do you have do you have any specific meanings do they have any specific meanings and can you show any who okay oh i always wanted an ankle tattoo but too scared um when it comes to tattoos and being scared you're gonna be scared until that needle touch you to be honest i'll be scared for every tattoo when i got a bunch of tattoos um it's gonna be a little hard for me to show you all of my tattoos but um here I'm gonna make a video after this showing all my tattoos and I'm gonna insert it right after this. Okay, so yeah, so that's my tattoos and everything. 
And um, my tattoos don't necessarily have specific meanings. It's just things that I like that, you know, I don't know. But I'm definitely not done getting tatted, you know. I want another, I want a leg sleeve and I want to finish this arm sleeve. But um, yeah. Uh, what type of music do you like? Okay, number one, my favorite artist is Lil Durk, okay? It is what it is. Don't shoot me. Don't. I don't care. I don't care. I know you see Nipsey right there, but I never really knew Nipsey as a, as a as a rapper. I knew him as like a motivational type of person. But that wasn't the question. The question was what kind of music I listen to. I like listening to rap, R&B, hip-hop. I even like some country music. I'm, I'm really like uh, pretty even across the board, but it, my go-to is like hip-hop and rap kind of R&B type of situation because I was listening to Lil Durk and he's a rapper, so... Yeah, I'm going to say rap, I guess. Okay. What are your favorite... Who are your favorite YouTubers? That's a great question. Uh, my favorite YouTubers are... Uh, Jazz. I'm low, I'm low perfect. Um, I watch her, like, almost every day. Like, she motivates me to keep on going. Um... I like Jazz. I like her whole crew, though. I like all of them. Um, Jazz, J. Long, Jordan, uh, Kaya, even Rod, he just got there. Um, uh, Loaded, that's what I'm thinking about. Loaded. I like all of them. Like, Yeah, so those are my those are my top people right there. And who else do I watch? I just started watching a couple newer YouTubers, but those are like my the YouTubers I watched from, from from the beginning I watched Queen Queen uh Jazz Armand Trey like I was watching them from the beginning but um I do still watch Queen and Clarence I still watch Armand and Trey sometimes Armand and Trey sometimes but definitely Jazz and uh Queen those are like my top like people I stayed following from that group. Um what are your favorite clothing stores? My favorite clothing store is Pac Sun. I love Pac Sun. Now as far as online, I like to shop at Boohoo, and those are my two favorite stores, Paxson and Boohoo. Um, Paxson is a little more pricey, but uh, Boohoo got the same kind of stuff, but just a little cheaper. But those kind of things, like streetwear, like laid back clothes, that's me. That's what I like to do. You see me in my sweatshirt. All right. They say, what countries would you like to visit? Okay, this is this 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 question is gonna take me all the way to 45 minutes. I want to visit almost every, I want to visit every single country. I'm not going to lie. Um, traveling is a beautiful thing. And it helps you, you know, see different things, see how people live, be grateful for what you got, you know? Like, that was stupid. <laughs> but no, uh, which countries would you like to visit? I would like to visit every single country, no lie. Like, I want to go, I want to visit everywhere if I can. I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Africa. I want to go to the Maldives. I want to go every. Literally, I don't even know if those are just. I don't even know if those are countries, but I want to go everywhere. I want to go to all 50 states. I want to go everywhere out of state. I want to go everywhere. So there's no specific things. The next, my next vacation, what I want to do is either go to Mexico. I've been to Mexico before, but my girl hasn't gone and she wants to go. So either go to Mexico or Greece. Cause she really wants to go to Greece also, and I want to go to Greece too, and I want to go to Maldives. So those are my, like my three top places I want to go next. So this year I'm going on a cruise, so yeah, those are my three top places. But um, let me make sure there's no more questions. Just give me five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. That's it, y'all. So we made it through all the questions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want y'all to understand how happy and grateful I am just for my 96 subscribers you know um ultimately I'm so thankful for y'all um if y'all ever want to see any videos just drop them in the suggestion box I mean not in the suggestion box the comments below uh but yeah make sure y'all like comment subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next video love y'all peace